Oh, it's good to see ya. I found myself in Madison for a day and I decided to cram as much into it as I could in 24 hours. So this is 24 hours in Madison, Wisconsin. Grab your bikes, your appetite, and let's get started. First things first, we needed some fuel to kickstart this adventure, so I went to Cargo Coffee at 8.30 a.m. because it's one of my favorite local coffee shops, known for its cozy atmosphere, giant wall-sized atlases, and delicious drinks. This coconut latte was the perfect way to start my day. With caffeine in hand, we now headed to James Madison Park, located right on the shores of Lake Mendota. Madison was built on an isthmus. Is it isthmus? Isthmus? No one knows. Right in between two large bodies of water, Lake Mendota and Lake Monona. And this park is the perfect spot to relax, shoot some hoops, and enjoy the outdoors. Why don't you get out there? I'm tired. Now, it's time to hop on our bikes and make our way to the heart of Madison, the State Capitol Building. This capital is not only a historic landmark, but also home to Wisconsin's government, which shouldn't be a surprise if you know anything about State Capitol Buildings. Where else would the government go? It's like a church. A church to the law. But this capital is really remarkable because the architecture is simply breathtaking and the tour guide told me they had, I think, nine different types of marble. He was really excited about the Italian marble and I'm not quite sure why. The tour guide also showed us a painting of Native Americans covering their eyes and he said they were shielding their eyes from progress, which was so problematic that we didn't go on with the rest of the tour but anyway we did go to the top of the observatory deck to see some really great views of the city which i highly recommend doing if you find yourself in madison who doesn't love a good view next we biked down state street which is a great place to immerse yourself in madison's vibrant culture this pedestrian friendly street is lined with unique shops restaurants and live music there's even a crazy guy who used to be on the dr demento radio hour back in the 70s and he won't let it go it's a true hub of activity Eventually, hunger strikes. So, we went to our lunch destination, Himal Chuli. I really hope I pronounced that right. This cozy Nepalese restaurant is a local favorite, known for its authentic flavors and warm hospitality. I could not wait to try their mouth-watering dishes. I actually ordered one of my favorite dishes here. It's the Takari Farsi. It's basically just butternut squash, peas, and onions all sautéed together, and it's pretty delicious. It's so good, I looked up how to make it on my own and found a blog post written by someone who used to work at this exact restaurant, and they just posted the recipe for free online. With our bellies full, we were now ready for some refreshment. We biked down State Street some more, down to the Union Terrace, a waterfront gathering place known for its iconic sunburst chairs and stunning views of Lake Mendota. And of course, we can't miss the opportunity to grab a beer at the Terrace. The Terrace is such a great place to do some people watching. Just look at what all the people around here are doing. They all have goals. And they're... <laughs> Well, we had an incredible time at the Union Terrace, but now it's time to ride across town to Oso's Brewery Tap House.
<laughs> Besides all their craft beer, they have a fantastic selection of pinball games. So let's see who has the highest score. Oh, you suck. What's the score? Oh my god, you see that? your balls, Steve. <laughs> now I may have done so well at pinball that I embarrassed my friend and made him feel ashamed anytime he watched this video. But to be truthful, my friend is working on becoming a pro pinballer, which is apparently something you can do in Madison. There's weekly tournaments at arcades around town. And if you're super into pinball because you're a big nerd that has nothing else to do with their life, then uh, you can go to these tournaments. Well, by this point we were good and buzzed, so we headed over to Tenney Park. The park is built around the Yahara River, which connects Lake Mendota to Lake Monona. There's beautiful bridges, and sometimes if you wear a hat and it comes off, everyone sees your dumb bald head. But the best part about this park and Madison in general is having another view of the gorgeous lake. Cause hey, who doesn't get sick of a lake? Coffee, food, bikes, lake. What more could you want in a day? Well, not to be outdone, we ended up stumbling upon a free festival where we got all kinds of stuff for free. My friend Keith even won a free bookmark. Oh, cool. Show me it. I don't know. <laughs> This party in the park had everything you could ask for. They're like, are these like old photos or anything? Yeah, so some of this is historic information about the neighborhood. Um, There. <laughs> to end this amazing day, we ended up going back to his place and chilling in his sunroom with some delicious takeout pizza from Sales, a local pizza joint that never disappoints. I ordered my favorite pizza. It's the fig and bacon. It's so freaking good. I, I hate figs because of how much I like them. I don't know what it is about figs. I'm like addicted to figs. But we couldn't call it a night with just pizza. So we went off to the Sylvie, one of Madison's popular live music venues. And we had a little secret. Shh. We stopped at a gas station along the way to pick up some pizza flavored combos. I don't think you can pull that bulge off. No one would know. It looks fine. That looks fine. And that's a wrap. What an incredible day I had exploring Madison, Wisconsin from coffee to parks, biking to breweries, and even sneaking in some delicious snacks in my pants. <laughs> it's been an adventure to remember. So thank you all for watching, subscribing, and we'll see you next time.